Cross man. That's right, okay? Okay, back. It's rare that you see two such huge men in an Asian mixed martial arts cage. Maya Ningram making her debut in and around the 1FC cage. Delighted to see her. This fight is brought to you by AdReach. Meaningful advertising. And these punches should be extremely meaningful. First of all, though, a kick from Alan in the black trunks. Hassan in the pale blue. And if there is a violent takedown in this one, the whole stadium could rock. Oh, my word! A spinning kick that knocked Hassan straight down, and in comes the referee. Kenichi Sirazawa didn't want to see any more of that, and I do not blame him. And look at Alan marching around the cage as if he owns it. This one was over so quickly that Jason Chambers didn't even get a word in. Yeah, um, you're absolutely correct, Steve. Just making some notes, and I looked up there and caught that spinning back kick. That was just incredible, I and mean, that shows you the pedigree of a very high-level striker. It's so tremendously difficult to keep your balance and to have the, the whereabouts about landing those kicks, especially when you're 245 pounds of pure muscle. Back your corner. That's Christine Hallower. That's judge, Igor Subora. Judge, judge time. Ready? And that's Ready? Alan Ungolani. Fight. This fight brought to you by Barocca. Every day is a big day. Start it right with Barocca. Don't blink. Subora coming right at Ungolani. You can see him. Oh, oh wow. I glitched down here. You can just see him trying to set up that big left kick. He's like pulling it all the way back from Hong Kong. Ooh, wow. that was a nice body shot right his there. That hurt so cute that hurt that he's getting really right hurt. In come the punches, and Sabora's in trouble. Those legs are just so strong and powerful. You gotta be careful once you feel that, that your opponent weaken a little bit, and he's starting to exert a lot of energy right there. He's Ungolani. gotta be careful he doesn't gas himself out, but he's going right back to the body again. Left hook to the body. Oh, big punches to the face. Oh, Sabora. that was big a big right hand. Huge right hand, and Galani's on top of him. A little bit untidy with the ground and pound. Can he get the space to work hard? The hammer blows come down. That's four, five. The left hand. Subora trying to block them, but he's having precious little success with it. Subora is crazy to possibly cut on the head. Olivia Cox is ready to pounce. It's finished. In a minute and ten seconds, he turns around and salutes the crowd again. Alan Angelani by victory in the first round. Those were some heavy bombs he was dropping on Subora right there. And it was just a moment. And you can just see the punches coming down and his head bouncing back up off the canvas like he was dribbling a basketball. Here you can see that vicious left body kick that hurt Subora. You saw him grimace, yeah. And you can see him just fading a little bit. And Ungolani jumps all over him with that big right hand, drops him right there. And then you can just see him dribbling the head off the canvas with big right hands. Olivier Cost putting his life on the line there. I mean, heavy was the word. Everything about every kick and punch that was thrown was just heavy. <laughs> Man, you can just see the wealth on the side of Tubora's body from that big left body kick with Ungalani. Must be like swinging a tree at you. Head <laughs> watching, not the drawing. So it was a fence. Three fights, three fights. That's good. Look at the physique here. On Galani. Someone forgot to tell Galani that Mr. Olympia is in Las Vegas tonight, not here in Jakarta. Judge. Sellout Judge. crowd in Jakarta. Judge. Ready? Go! And the size of Sakina's head. It's got its own gravitational pull. Charges up the ground. Looking for a takedown. Trying to put it on. Sakine rushes Ungolani, and you can just see Ungolani waiting, timing, pinpointing the knockout blow and ends the night.
of Sakine. Look at this, beautifully timed, measured with the left hand, delivered with the right. Mitch, it was a combination of timing, precision, and Sakine's own forward coming momentum that dropped himself into that right hand. He basically just ran right into that giant right hand of Alan Ungalani. Ran into a car battery. Ladies and gentlemen, your referee Yuji Shimada has put a stop to this contest after 11 seconds in the first round for your winner by way of knockout, Alan Nerani! Galani was spot on yesterday. He said that Sekino focuses too much on the takedown and that would leave his big chin exposed. And indeed, that was the case. 4-1 championship action when we return.